Today we're putting an alternator in a Chrysler Cirrus LX. Gonna give you the quick, easy spot. All right, so come under here, take this place to cover off right there. It's a bunch of push pins. A lot of dirt was up in there. See them stop push pins? That's what it has. Pull them all out. You'd be good to go. Come on, underneath. There's the belt. Oh, obviously this thing needs a belt. Look at the cracks in it. See that bolt right there? Right there, that one. Taking that one out. And then there's one on top. You can already see it's out. Right there. We're going to do that. We're going to take this tensioner. Uh, we are going to loosen the tensioner by loosening the middle bolt. The big bolt on the pulley. And then that bolt right there. The one that's going this way. Not the bolt on the other. The one going this way. And you'll loosen that and you'll watch it move the move the pulley towards this way. It'll move it that way. And it'll loosen the belt. And from that, we will then take the belt off. In this case, we're going to take the belt off of this puppy also to get the new belt on. But the alternator is what we're tackling. Okay, so now we're up top. It'll be a quick overview. To get this alternator out, you're going to remove some little things to help you out. Starting with this bracket. This bracket, these two bolts, you really can't see them. They sit literally right here. This one you can get. This one you get with a ratchet wrench or an open end wrench like so. This one, you can see it's right behind this. It'll be right here. Uh, and then the second one is kind of tucked underneath, if you notice. But if you get a uh, just a 3 8 ratchet and a socket, shallow socket, you should be able to get it, no problem. And the other bolt was on the end. That's what hold, That goes through the alternator. So that's all fine and well. And now we're here. We're here. And obviously, we're not getting this thing out. It's stuck. So... Back to the quick 13, 13, 13, 13. And we're not taking that out because it takes a whole bunch more crap to take it out. But we're just going to literally pry up on it like this. And you'll see my one-handed skills here of me holding it up and sneaking it out. And boom, the alternator's out. Now we still got to undo the wires and whatnot. But for the moment, we're good. And we'll put it back in the same way. For this particular car, there is two different ones. There is a 125 and a 90 amp. Believe it or not, this part number is the 90 amp, even though it has the 125 there. Please like and subscribe to my page.